So hope you guys just flock. So Tyree, aka Joey, was over there in uh, Troll TV's video talking about I'm just some troll hiding and shit for all of y'all that know me. I don't hide from shit. I ain't hiding from nobody. The main thing with you though, Joey, I don't consider you no kind of threat or anything like that. You soft as fucking pudding, boy. Really though. I don't consider you no, no type of threat. So really, there ain't no reason to really like, I don't know. The only reason why I really kind of talk some shit about you is because you've got that complex where you think you're some golden god. You ain't nothing like that. You're just a man. You're just another man out there. But you act like a little boy. I don't understand it, man. You're a grown ass man. So with the fucking frosted tips, the leather pants, and always flashing your watch and trying to flash money everywhere. You know, I flashed some cash on my on my streams before, but that was when I was downtown actually going out and doing shit. You know what I mean? It was a Friday. Felt good. Had some scratchers and shit. But I don't understand it, Tyree. What? You you don't you you're not a fighter. I can guarantee you that Charlie Zelenoff would beat the fuck out of you. I can guarantee you that, Tyree. I don't know what the fuck you're even trying to do. And the other day, you're trying to call out, like, McGregor and fucking Khabib. Those guys would kill you. That's what they do. They train and live this shit. Have you ever seen McGregor's training regimen? You're over there doing some half-ass pull-ups and push-ups and shit, talking about you'll beat McGregor, that they all know who you are and shit. One thing I wanted to mention, too, is if... Okay, look. You're talking about all these haters hiding and shit. Why don't you let them just come into your stream and say what they've got to say and stop blocking them out? You know how easy it is to do that on a stream? Just filter through the hate. Eventually the haters, they, you know, they'll make other accounts and I guarantee you a lot of them will come in there and try and kiss your fucking nuts just to troll you. You know, I'm sure that's what a lot of them are doing. But if you look at your videos, man, you get mad dislikes and shit. And if you were all about being some good person, doing good things and all that shit, people wouldn't have to hate on you. People wouldn't be hating if, if you were... If you were normal, didn't lie, just lived your life the way that you're supposed to live it, people wouldn't be fucking hating on you. But uh, obviously you've done some shady ass fucking shit, you know what I mean? That's why you've got haters. And I ain't fucking hiding from shit, man. I'm out here in Albuquerque. Right here in New Mexico, bro. I'm going to the gym right now myself. I fucking live at Define Fitness. I've been living at this place for three months right now. I just don't record my fucking workouts because I ain't trying to show off like you do. Having to make sure the camera's watching you and shit. Your little half-ass pull-ups, bro. Man, if you're going to do some pull-ups, go down all the fucking way. Quit trying to show off how many you can fucking do. You're light, you're light as a fucking feather, man. What are you, like 110? I'm over here almost pushing 200 pounds. I'm trying to get down to 195 if I can. Actually, I was down to 195 and I went back up. I think I'm at 199 right now, last time I checked. But man, Tyree, you ain't shit. All, the, all this shit you talking, I heard so much fucking shit. I heard you got caught at your girlfriend's pad dressing in her fucking clothes. Oh, what's up with always picking your fucking nose on stream too, bro? That shit is disgusting. Quit picking your fucking nose on camera. No one wants to fucking see that shit you sticking your fucking thumbnail up your nose. Shit is fucking disgusting. Spitting little bits of food on your floor and shit. Come on, man, have some civility. What is wrong with you? You know, the whole frosted tips and fucking shit, man. You dress, you dress like you're trying to impress some little ass girls and shit. I mean, you're supposed to be a grown ass man, comfortable in your own skin. You don't seem like you don't seem like you're comfortable at all with yourself. Trying to show off some fake flashy bullshit, man. It ain't shit to me, Tyree. That's why I don't consider you a threat. You're like a little kid. You're like a little ass kid. Lying on the fucking, uh, lying, lying on the fucking lunch, lunch benches at school talking about all the shit that you've got. Talking about a $13 an hour job is a good job and shit, man. That ain't fucking shit, dude. Fucking in and out starts you out at $15 an hour. Fucking $13 an hour. You know, I can't talk, though. I don't got a job, but I don't need to work. I hustle. I make money the way that I need to make it, you know? I do what I got to do. A lot of people say I live off my dad and shit. My dad's a disabled veteran, and we help each other. I've saved his life twice now, living with him. If it wasn't for me, he'd be dead. That's on some real shit. And Tyree, you get, you, you're 
rapping skills are fucking completely horrid. Looks like there's a fire going on down there at the down at the Bosque. Man, fucking uh, Frost is gonna smoke you when I diss track. She already, man. I ain't gonna fucking say nothing about all that shit. But Tyra, you need to stop thinking people are hiding from me. No one's hiding from me, bro. I'll come in. You keep talking some shit to me, I will come see you. I will do some one-on-one, -on -one, no gloves shit if you want to. I ain't scared. I went to Charlie Zelena's house twice, bro. I fucking pulled right up on that bitch. He hit behind his mom and his dad. Like a fucking little pussy. Ain't shit to me. I'll take your clout and your cash. You ain't got no clout, though. I don't care about the clout either, as you can see. I deleted my old channel. This channel's only got like 20-something subs. It's kind of just to fit in with the haters ink, you know what I mean? Troll Charlie a little bit. But now you're popping up on the radar of the haters ink too, so... I mean, obviously there's something wrong. If you're popping up and getting hate from haters, especially haters ink, then there's something wrong with you. Because these people not these people in haters ink are not delusional. We think logically, I think logically, you know, I drive, I go to the gym, I got two dogs I take to the boss game. You know, I'm out and I'm active, I do all kinds of shit. Saying we just sit in our house hiding and shit, it ain't like that. But we see shit. And if we see it and it's fake, we'll call it out. You know, I heard you talking about resurrection of Jesus and you've been crucified. That's the same shit Charlie was talking. So that leads, that's a flag right there. That leads us to believe that you're fucking crazy. That you, you know, I, I've listened to you talk though. Some of the shit you say is pretty logical. But I think you, I think you got so fucking high that you're all fucking entrapped in your own brain. Like, I don't know what the fuck. You're not a free person. You're, you're a slave to yourself. You're not comfortable with yourself. If you were comfortable with yourself, you wouldn't be having to try to prove so much shit. And in your chat, talking shit, calling people bitches and all that kind of stuff. I just don't understand it. You know, to me, to me, that's a, that's a sign of a true bitch. You know, I do what I say I'm going to do. Ask anybody else around who's seen me on my streams and shit. When I say I'm going to do something, I usually end up doing it if it's within my means, if I can do it. You need to quit smoking them damn real cigarettes. I'm down to four, four milligrams. When I quit smoking cigarettes, I started at 28 milligrams of nicotine, man. I'm down to four now, but I've been puffing on this thing like it's fucking candy. But Tyree, you ain't no fucking multi-millionaire and none of that shit. Why are you living out of a Motel 6 because all your money's tied up in investments, you're fucking saying? Pull it out! If you've got enough fucking money that you... What do you... If, if you're a multi-billionaire, trillionaire, whatever the fuck you said, why are you even investing in shit? You know a billion dollars is more money than you could fucking spend in a lifetime by yourself? What are you talking about you're investing in shit? What are you fucking investing in? Oh, he's investing in new technologies. What technologies are those? Lasers! Oh, lasers! How adorable! I don't know if you've ever seen Always Sunny in Philly, but that's a little skit that they do. But come on, Tyree. Joey, be real with yourself. Stop fucking faking the funk like you're some fucking badass and shit. You're some skinny, wannabe fucking... I don't even know. I don't even want to call you a wigger. I don't know what the fuck you are. I have no clue, man. you like... All, all I know is that you make white people look bad. That's for fucking sure. You know? You wouldn't be allowed in my cell if you were in my cell and you started talking all that bullshit. You'd be ran out quick. I'll roll your shit up so fast. up over here though have, have me a couple beers hopefully I got my spot right here but I'm telling you Tyree man all that bullshit you're talking I don't know what the fuck you're thinking man I really don't understand it Charlie Zelenoff's already a bitch we've already exposed him as being a bitch and now you're over there Man, just let the fucking haters into your chat. Quit blocking everybody, man. Just let them fucking come in. If they want to speak their fucking mind, let them speak their mind. It's like a goddamn dictatorship up in your channel. Everyone's got to abide by you and bow down and lick those nuts or what? Does that make you feel good, Tyree? Shit, let the haters in. Let them say what they want to say. They're not delusional. They're, they'll come at you with logic and, and, and perspective on how, things, how, how they see shit. You know what I mean? They really will. 
You think all the haters are fucking like mentally unstable and shit? It ain't. We're, that's why we're going against you. That's why, that's why all the haters are fucking against you because we see you being mentally unstable. You being untruthful and, uh, and, and dishonest. So that's why, that's why you're getting attacked by the haters. I mean, what, what, what other uh, explanation is there for it, for all the hate that you get? If you were a good person, like I said, doing good things, people would praise you for it and wouldn't fucking hate you. But man, I watch little bits of your stream, and I see red flags left and right. Especially you calling out Khabib and Connor. Those guys would fucking murder you. They would murder you. That's what they, they live and breathe. That shit. And you're talking about they're broke. Conor McGregor's with like 500 fucking million dollars or some shit. He made like 300 million off the fucking Mayweather fight itself. So I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, broke. He's running around in a fucking Bentley in LA. What, rocking Gucci Mink and fucking Polar Bear. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, Tyree. Where do you get your facts from? You know, that's one thing too. If you're going to say something, at least have some shit to back it up. At least have some kind of proof, you know? Can't just say shit and expect everybody to fucking believe that shit. But I'm mobile, dog. I'll come see you if you really want it. I'll come. I'll take this car out. I'll go for a nice little drive in this bitch right here, hitting 180 on the freeway, and come see you real quick, Tyree. <sighs> it ain't shit to me. I'm gonna sit there and talk and all that shit. Don't be talking shit to me, man. I ain't fucking hiding from shit, Tyree. I ain't hiding from shit. I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm out here living. But if you don't want all the hate, really, if you don't want all the hate, then stop being the way that you are, I guess. Obviously, haters mean you need to change something or you're doing something wrong. That's what hate means. So therefore, you need to change up your ways. You need to change up your act. Stop talking so much shit, bumping your gums, talking about you some big badass, because you ain't, you just some person, you know what I mean? You just some fucking other guy out there, living life, some Joe Schmo, just like me, I'm a Joe Schmo too, I ain't nobody big, I ain't nobody bad, but I'll tell you what, I stand up for myself, my family, my own. But you guys, I'm out here, I'm gonna drink my lot, well, let me sip my beer real quick. I like to drink a couple beers before I go up in the gym, though. Got my protein shake and shit on me. I think I'm going to sit in that steam room for about an hour today. But like I said, Tyree, you said you told me in Troll TV's channel the only reason why I would say that is because I'm hiding. Because I, I'm some internet troll hiding. Which is far from the truth. I ain't hiding from shit. And I'm not just some troll. I just, uh, I kind of approach things with logic. In, re in a perspective of reality. You know, you say, I create realities. Yeah, you create them in your fucking head, bro. You creating all them realities in your head, huh? From what we see, we don't see, we see disillusion. Magic tricks. You ain't got no fucking multi-millions. You ain't no fucking boxer. I've seen your fucking videos of you trying to fight, bro. With your little guard, your boxing guard fucking stance. I will get you right in your solar plexus so quick. I will close in and clench your ass if you keep your arms up like that. You're going to keep your arms up like that? I will fucking close the distance and fucking underarm clench you. I'll fucking throw some hooks in and start kneeing you with Muay Thai knees. Over and over again. You have no clue what you're talking about. You're not a fighter. I can guarantee it. You're not a fucking fighter and you don't know what you're talking about with that shit. So quit, quit, quit talking about that you're... Some 10 and 0 boxer, underground boxer. I watch those fucking fights, man. You don't, you, you don't even know how to throw a fucking jab without stepping forward. You have no clue how to hold ground. You know, have no clue how to put, how to distribute your weight evenly. None of that shit, man. You're sloppy as fuck. So just admit it. That's all you got to do. We see it. We see it. So why don't you just admit it and man up to it and say, all right, yeah, you're right. You know, you can change it with a little bit of training, of course. Anyways, guys, I'm out. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go get my workout on.